Now, the death toll in the UK from the COVID-19 pandemic has risen sharply to 26,097, as the latest figures includes those in care homes for the first time. The UK now has the second highest number of fatalities in Europe after Italy and the third highest death toll in the world. Foreign Secretary Dominic Raab emphasised the figures did not reflect a spike in deaths but covered a period of several weeks. The rate of new infections, he said, showed that the COVID-19 curve was flattening out. He insisted a comparison with death tolls elsewhere in Europe was not a valid one to make. What we're trying to do is get the most granular picture. I think um, when it comes to the international comparisons, are not, not, certainly not, not all of the countries are, uh, are recording even to the level that we've got to now, um, which is why some of those international comparisons. But, but we're just committed to maximum transparency. One, because uh, people should know the full picture. And secondly, when you know more about the data, you've got a better chance of gripping it in the way that we're absolutely committed to doing. Well, for more on this, let's speak now to our reporter in London, Victoria Smith. Uh, Victoria, although the deaths in care homes are included in this latest death uh, toll, there seems to be a suggestion that even these figures perhaps aren't uh, reliable or there's been an under-reporting. Uh, what did Dominic Grab have to say about that? Well, of course, Dominic Raab was pretty robust as he is answering questions about these care home figures. Obviously, there's a big increase in the death toll because the care home figures have been taken into account. As you say, over 26,000 now recorded. That's because there's been some backdating, looking back at the number of figures coming from care homes uh, from the period 2nd of March to the 28th of April. And in that time frame, there was an additional 3,811 to put that into context today, that's uh, an increase today of 765 deaths, including care home deaths. Now, we're used to seeing death tolls more along the line of 400, 500. So we start to see an increase when the care home statistics are included. And we also start to see a pattern as to where these deaths are now happening. It looks as if some 70% of the deaths are, in fact, outside hospital and 30% in hospital now as to the uh, as to the validity of the figures i mean dominic Raab himself has admitted there's no sugarcoating the problem of this care home epidemic and how to report the figures but he is saying that the government is ramping up its efforts to get the figures out to the public and also to help quash the epidemic in care homes themselves by bringing in extra kit more testing and importantly ensuring some level of control over people that go in and out of care homes that up till now could have been taking the virus in or bringing it back out again. Victoria, what other areas did Dominic Raba cover in his conference today? Well, of course, it's one day till the government's uh, health secretary, Matt Hancock, is meant to reach his target for testing. He's promised 100,000 tests a day by the end of April. That's tomorrow. Today's uh, figure was 50,000 tests, so he's a little bit, uh, got a little bit of a way to go. He's still sounding robust about uh, what they're doing, but the target is some way off. He was also questioned again, Dominic Raab was questioned again on his lockdown exit strategy. He says the curve is starting to flatten here in the UK, but work still needs to be done. He talks a lot about these five tests the government and the UK needs to pass before they can even think about uh, ending lockdown or easing lockdown. And that, that means that the number of uh, cases of uh, coronavirus need to come down a lot more. The, the death toll also needs to decrease a lot more. And there has to be, uh, it has to be certain that the NHS will be able to cope and also there has to be no danger of a second wave of COVID-related cases and deaths, which there is a risk of at the moment. Dominic Raab calling this moment in time in the UK a delicate and dangerous moment. Victoria Smith there with the latest from London. Thank you.